hey genuine well wishers and constructive critics to whom i am thankful for letting me know my negatives at the outside i wish you and a below a safe journey in 2022 and subsequent years in spite of the three waves of corona with the fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline in progress already all variants of concern in full swing in india all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe with the social activist and good hearted preacher professor s suresh back with the sheer ecstasy <coughs> excuse me reborn again and in fact for my 189th video on unveil of publication on youtube today 24th october 2022 monday the topic for today is be constructive not destructive today is a major festival for hindus all over the globe called deepavali also known as festival of lights this festival is in celebration of the elimination of a demon to free the downtrodden from the torture they were subjected to by this demon hence i decided to present a video on topic of immense benefit to the general public i assure you my videos are short and sweet worth every femtosecond of your precious time we are mortal but our videos are immortal so we live through our videos forever so i am confident that i live forever having published 189 videos so far including this one for the benefit of benefit of society that to absolutely free constructive emphasizing what is laudable hopeful or to the good intending to improve or promote development having a use destructive causing destruction or much damage the termination of something by causing so much damage to it that it cannot be repaired or no longer exists and even or the result of an event that completely destroys something differentiation of constructive from destructive activities be virtuous and do all the good possible to the society never be vicious in either actions or even thoughts never live in paradox of happiness or leading self-centered lives in the so-called space age also known as 21st century majority of population are psychopaths who seldom care about the society use your knowledge and expand your energy on constructive activities ultimate effects or consequences only decide whether the action is constructive or destructive effects may be positive or negative one should see the aggregate effect proceed with activities that are more profound positive effects it is easy to be destructive than constructive be premeditated destructive activities are real sin development of anything the usage of which leads to killing or injuring people animals sentient species ecology is certainly destructive involvement of infra improvement of infrastructure like roads water supply water storage requisite facilities like energy supply safe sewage disposal methods educational establishments are constructive sometimes even constructive actions are bad if there is a hidden agenda of gaining material benefits nowadays even educational institutes are uh, run as commercial establishments only or even religious uh, places even so called non government organizations ngo are set up only to gain material benefits disguising as non profit organizations even orphanages elderly care facilities abuse of orphans elders either sexually or physically by indulging in organ trade stealing the organs from these uh, people and selling them in the market in a way even commercial sex work is beneficial at least there is a legal outlet for people to satisfy their carnal uh, requirements else rapes child abuses will be more frequent and common even in olden times there was a system called devadasis i don't know how many of you are familiar with that providing free education to all is uh, certainly constructive especially training the downtrodden on vocational skills train people to be self-reliant a classic example cited in this context is teach a person how to catch a fish 
rather than providing free food. Providing things require either monetary or non-benefited monetary benefits only makes the people lazy. Provide work to all and utilize their talents properly. Stealing, indulging in crime are definitely destructive activities. Selling substances that can be abused causes intoxication is destructive. Th those days we had kingdoms and all kings have executed so many projects of immense benefits to their citizens. Government should curb budget for so called defense, which is destructive, and spend the money wisely on projects of benefit to the citizens like education, health care, improvement of infrastructure, etc. Cost benefit analysis should be done for all projects, and prioritization should be done based on these analysis. All organizations should spend more money on corporate, institutional, social responsibility called as CSR or ISR. Keeping our surroundings clean is constructive, deforestation is destructive, contamination of natural resources, water, air, environment is destructive. Nobody would have thought of buying edible quality water, yeah, medical oxygen, etc., but it has become a reality. Paid oxygen parlors are set up that people use by paying money to breathe pure oxygen. For your information, atmospheric air is mostly nitrogen and oxygen, which all sentient species need, is hardly 22 percent by volume, and this proportion is decreasing rapidly attributed to pollution contamination. Development of synthetic materials like plastics, genetically modified GM, food crops, fertilizers, insecticides is destructive. If all of us are constructive, this world will be like heaven and he has asked ourselves what good I am to the society and do all good deeds possible. Remember, we only live once. That concept is called YOLO, you only live once. Similarly, we die only once, that is called as YODO, Y-O-D-O, you. Debates, discussion and open-ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me pull the plug here, we will meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statesmen views express uh, solely in mind, based on limited knowledge gained over. Six decades of personal experience. I always watch these videos with the closed caption subtitles for absolute hundred percent comprehension as for my sincere recommendation zillion times so far. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within twenty minutes maximum. Today I must have taken about uh, nine minutes, less than ten minutes. This time limit is self-imposed to read in the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing, attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the supreme power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural or unnatural events, maybe bio war and cyber war, like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays away for apocalypse, apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on the earth for no fault of others. Rest in peace and harmony.